Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create free Salesforce developer account. Just go to Google and type in Salesforce developer edition sign up. And you see the first link here, developer edition sign up, just click on it. And you get a form here. So we need to fill this form. It, contains the basic details like first name, last name, email address, your job role, right? Company name, and you could give any name here. It could be even a ABC, XYG as well. Just fill in all your details and choose the username of your choice here. I'm just choosing my email ID as my username. You can choose username of your choice here. And just check this, select this checkbox, saying that you agree to the main services agreement developer services, right? And just click on sign me up. So within a minute or two, you should receive an email, right? To confirm your account. Here we go. In some cases, it would take five to 10 minutes even. You just need to wait for this email to arrive in your inbox. So just click on it and verify your account. You see verify account button, right? Just click on it. And you need to choose your password here. It asks to change the password. So just enter a password which actually matches these conditions, eight characters, one letter and one number. Confirm your password and have a security question here. So you can choose a security question of your choice here. Click on change password. So once you do that, you are logged into your account, right? So you can actually choose the objects as well. So you see nine dots here, right? So just click on it and you can see different apps here, right? So you can either choose sales console or service console. So I choose sales console. And you can see different objects here available in Salesforce developer instance, right? So for example, you can see leads, accounts like this, right? So just click on accounts. This is one object. And list to you. I wanted to view all accounts. So you can see the data here, right? So this data, we can use it, right? So likewise, you can go to any other object, leads. I wanted to view leads, right? All open leads. Just select the filter and you can view the data here like this, right? So, and one important part here is we need to have the security token. So we, which can be used to connect from anywhere to the Salesforce instance, right? So for to actually know that security token for your account, Click on this avatar and you see settings here, right? So just click on the settings. And here in personal information, you see reset my security token, right? So just click on it. And we can see here, you can read what it has to say. When you access Salesforce from an IP address that isn't trusted for your company, and we are using any desktop client or the AP to call this Salesforce internet, then we need this security token to log in. And by the way, what's the security token? So it's a case sensitive alphanumeric code that's tied to your password. So we need to provide username, password, and along with that, we need to provide the security token as well. So whenever your password is reset, remember to reset your security token as well by you know navigating this avatar settings, and then you can see sec reset my security token, right? So once I click on reset security token, so a new security token will be sent to the email ID, right? So this security token, you can see here, right? So this is my security token. So that token can be used to log into Salesforce instance. So if I wanted to use any API to log into the Salesforce instance, so along with my username and password, I will be using this security token. So this is how you create a free Salesforce developer account and view different objects, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.